Hi, my name is Felix Peter. I'm Chief Product Owner for SAP Central Business Configuration. I'd like to walk you through Unit 12 of this course, which is the recap and the outlook. To start with the recap, first thing which you've heard in Unit 1 is the vision of SAP Central Business Configuration. Here we talked about how we position ourselves inside the Intelligent Enterprise Suite and want to support SAP's products with business configuration in the future. In Unit 2 to 7, we talked about the project experience, where, we, uh, where you had uh, the chance to listen into our capabilities for scoping, the organizational structure setup, the product-specific configuration, as well as the productive system settings. Unit 12, uh, Unit 11, sorry, Unit 11 did then tell you about the parallel project line, which will help in the future to um, better support ongoing projects while also ensuring that we have um, the um, possibilities for emergency fixes and corrections in, in the same time. In Unit 8, we did talk about the configuration localization tool, which uh, is our new solution to, to provide localizations for customer for countries which are not or countries and localizations which are not offer, offered out of the SAP best practice. Uh, Unit 9, nine did uh, um, focus on the integration with the cloud ALM tooling. And in Unit 10, we had a focus on the three system landscape. Now let's jump to the focus of this course, which is the Outlook. The, the, this unit will have four main elements. First one is the project experience and how we intend to strengthen these processes in the future. Then we'll have a look into our intents to cover, to extend the solution coverage of, of central business configuration and also look into the capabilities that we want to offer for partners. And last but not least, last part is our onboarding for SAP s hana Cloud customers, which are currently using the Manage Your Solution. To start with the project experience, here we have, as outlined in the previous courses, main elements like the project and in the project one of the core features which we want to provide in the future is obviously the parallel project lines which has been presented to you as part of unit 10. We also want to have a better user experience which has an, also an improved tool chain integration with uh, the cloud ALM tooling going forward and um, want to provide here with more flexibility to our customers. Looking at the scoping part um, one important aspect of the scoping is to provide additional granularity and flexibility if it comes to the scope selection. So also here we have additional um, features on our roadmap which shall help you in the future to better tailor your system to the actual, to the actual needs of your business. And one important aspect here is also um, if we, what you've seen in the course, some of the scoping elements at this point are not yet customer driven. That's obviously one of our main goals to give that fully in your hands. So that you also are able to drive everything out of you, out of the uh, cockpit that is provided by a central business configuration and you no longer need to rely on expert support from SAP. Looking at the org setup, one important aspect here, and that ties together with the scoping granularity, is the org-dependent scoping. Um, as of today, we provide each and every org entity with the same set of scopes. So if you create a, com a custom company code, another company code will have the same scope. Going forward, our intent is to provide a more granular scoping experience here, so that you're also able to define the scope of each company code individually, to define the scope of each plant individually, um, which is obviously uh, a demand for a lot of our customers. Another important aspect is also the mass handling and um, the copy functionality of org entities, which will simplify, um, especially for larger customers, um, the creation of new org entities and also then um, provide a faster um, time to value if you do, are in the implementation. Looking at the configuration, one important aspect here is the structure and the guidance that we provide. And also here we have the intent to provide additional filter capabilities, to provide additional workflows which will help the customer to, to um, find the right configuration activities in a faster way. And then also um, obviously um, get the right configuration done in the right way. Another important aspect which we want to provide here are the customer templates. What is a customer template? So today, um, 
we provide you with the best um, practice content of SAP, which um, is basically our understanding of what customers typically do. That obviously deviates customer per customer. What we want to do is give customers the opportunity to define their own templates, like uh, defining a planned template for southern region, for the northern region, which may deviate. So that once you create a new plant, you would rightfully, uh, right um, from the start, start with that customer defined template instead of the SAP provided template, which obviously will also reduce then uh, the time that you need for the implementation of such new entities. Last but not least, um, also the upgrade procedures are an important aspect for us. And we all know that customers uh, really appreciate the, cust the updates that SAP provides on, on, a, on a frequent basis. But it's also clear to us that at this point, we are still lacking a bit of transparency. So there's a clear goal of us to give the customer more transparency about the content of an upgrade and also provide him more flexibility in regards to the content that is being applied during the upgrade. So that's one of the core elements where we want to simplify the experience for the customers during um, the updates and upgrades. Looking into the solution coverage of sub-central business configuration, um, we currently are looking into the S4HANA cloud uh, offering. Um, that's our main um, focus and main product at this point. Um, where we provide reference content for, but as outlined in the vision, um, our goal is to really be the central configuration environment across all of SAP's solutions. And that is, uh, includes um, the business technology platform, that includes success vectors, Ariba, Conquer, and others. We are currently in the process of onboarding a first BTP app, um, which will then um, be jointly uh, scoped together with the s hana cloud offerings in, uh, out of uh, CBC so that you have a central entry point uh, for the scoping but also for the configuration across these two products. And our goal obviously in the future is to extend that to the other offerings of SAP. Looking into the partner capabilities, um, what we offer today, and that's what you've seen in Unit 8, is the configuration localization tool. With the configuration localization tool, you are able to create an own localization um, based on a reference country or a reference localization provided by SAP. And based on that, um, then also um, yeah, implement company codes, legal entities in countries outside of the SAP best practice uh, reference localization scope. That's the first part which we want to offer for our partners. On a midterm um, basis, we also intend to have uh, something repeatable. So the intent is that um, we provide partners with capabilities to download configuration, scope information, org information, and um, basically take their reference configuration, their reference org structure and scope and up and download that from a cent their central system or any system and um, have the possibilities to upload that in, a, in any other system again, so that um, you basically have a quicker ramp up time once you start into a new project with your, with your customers. In the future, um, we even want to go beyond that. The intent is that partners are really able to plug in their capabilities into our reference um, scoping structure. So they are able to add their own scoping elements like industry um, variants and so on in the future so that a customer can really take the system and scope everything um, out of one central place, no matter whether it's an SAP offering or a partner offering. So that is our future which we want to offer for the, for the partners. Last but not least, let's have a look into the onboarding of SAP s hana cloud customers which are currently using Manage Your Solution. The system landscape that these customers currently have um, is they do have an s hana cloud quality system which has lifecycle uh, layer, which has active configuration, transactional and master data. And in addition to that, they have the um, productive system, which also has the active configuration and the transactional and master data. The important aspect here, and that's also the, one of the core capabilities of central business configuration, uh, is the lifecycle layer. So within the lifecycle layer, we basically separate customer adaptations from the SAP reference content, which allows us in the future to calculate for each and every new content version that SAP provides, the delta 
and make sure that we are um, safeguarding the customer settings and not overwriting anything with the reference content that SAP applies. As of today, um, we do have these two systems. Once um, central business con configuration kicks in, and that is part of the conversion process that we'll do, uh, we will have the SAP central business configuration as an additional system on top. And that is very important to understand. Um, this won't change anything about the active configuration and transactional master data in the quality system. And it won't change anything about active configuration, transactional master data in the productive system. The only thing what will happen is the lifecycle layer, so basically the layer, which I just explained, where we are separating the customer information or customer adaptations from the SAP reference content, that will transfer into central business configuration, which in the future, as outlined before, will allow to benefit of the advantages that um, we have in our solution um, in regards to the project experience, but going forward also intelligent enterprise suite offerings for other products, as well as the partner offerings. And that is basically the prerequisite. That's why the intent is to move um, every customer currently using the manager solution also into SAP central business, SAP central business configuration. So first thing what will happen is, as I said, we will move that lifecycle layer in here. And um, that should not come with any effect on the customer productive system. The only thing what will happen is customer going forward would receive their lifecycle, their new content via central business configuration, would scope, set up their org structure, do the configuration via SAP central business configuration. The second thing, which will also happen in the same point of time, and we've seen that in unit 10, the goal is to have all of our customers on a three system landscape. So in addition to the move from the um, lifecycle layer in S4 HANA Cloud to the uh, lifecycle layer in central business configuration, we will also add an, addition, uh, an additional system type. Uh, first of all, the quality system will transfer into a, a development system. And second, we will introduce a third uh, system, which is the cloud test system, which again will come with active configuration, transactional, and master data. Right, so this is uh, the goal, what we want to allow um, customers or we want to bring our customers to. We want to convert them from the current two system setup based on manage your solution into a three system setup based on central business configuration. Right, with that we are already at the end of this unit and uh, also as this is the last unit at the end of the course. So I'd like to thank you uh, for your attendance here. And with that, also want to wish you all the best uh, for your course assignment. And thanks a lot for having me.